That is, yeah, I mean, that is the question that every, especially, well, two, two types of businesses, whether they're startup or whether it's a business looking to expand their operation and expanding operations could mean building different locations. It could mean acquiring uh, different uh, competitors or what have you. However, with that said, Loans, uh, especially in the economic climate that we are in now, uh, and we want to use uh, the so-called stimulus package put forth by uh, President Obama and his uh, administration, and we believe it was when the mark crashed 2008, so 2009. Uh, what people, uh, what what no one uh, seems to be announcing some four years later is that uh, although uh, 700 750 billion really was over a trillion dollars, but nobody's talking about that. That 750 million dollars uh, was uh, loaned to banks, supposedly, and they were supposed to loosen credit term well not credit terms but loosen the purse strings on a very shaky economy credit was locked down no money was flowing through the system and the stimulus package was supposed to uh chiefly help small businesses and not so much homeowners or, or those folks but what occurred was uh in 2000, from 2011 to 2013, less small business loans were being made by those same lending institutions uh, than in the previous 100 years of American commerce. And nobody's talking about that simply because uh, it, it, we believe that because small business loans are put on pamphlets and flyers and bank commercials and the like that those things are available but those things have never been harder to get i mean we were at a couple of businesses who had perfect credit scores and, and uh perfect business credit scores and one of our clients had like a 803 credit score uh solid business solid revenue and they still weren't able to get loans so on the subject of loans uh i would say uh, two things. The first is a business, uh, a startup business uh, has the hugest burden to prove why they are worthy of, uh, while they're worthy of g being given a loan. They have no financial, typically no history. Uh, but what is what is key to unlocking that lockdown purse strings from a bank is to put as much collateral forward as possible. And when I say collateral businesses, uh, and, and we'll just take something really simple, uh, a website. One thing that's critical for small businesses, if they have a website, they should have a website, is to get that website valued because that is an asset that could be packaged with the loan that many people don't think about because there are domain names, um, there are websites out there worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Uh, well, uh, startup, well, not startup business, but operating business, but even domain domains, for instance, uh, the domain name uh, Jerusalem.com sold in 2002 or 2003, we believe, for like half a million dollars. So uh, make sure that every area, especially for startup businesses, uh, that every asset area is uh, examined. The houses, equity in homes, cars, vehicles, those types of things, those are those things are easy. And a lot of entrepreneurs are upside down in their house, not not due to negligence of their own. And really, there is no value in those houses. So it's important to examine every area of your business outside of hands on physical assets. What is your web presence? Uh, can you have your website uh, valued? What is your uh, future? Uh, what is that future uh, pro forma because that could be viewed in certain circumstances uh, as an asset to loan. So just examine every area, uh, multimedia equipment, cameras, whatever it is that are inside of your business and especially your website. Now, let me say this in closing. Uh, it's a misnomer that 
uh, people believe that somehow the government, like the Small Business Administration, gives loans to businesses, and that's not how it works. How it works is uh, banks or SBA partners with uh, banks that they identify as able to service loans, and the loan is really worked out between the the entrepreneur and small business and the bank. Now, with that said, the good news is is that if a bank approves that loan and then a part and the small business and the bank partner with the SBA on that loan, the SBA will serve as a guarantor against default on loans, some cases in up to 85% of the loss. So uh, that's that just has to kind of be cleared up. The uh, federal government doesn't necessarily loan people money. They just insure uh, those loans against default.